everybody, my name is Sidra and welcome back to West of Loathing where I now have enough moxie to deal with that guy. Disconnect that thing. You'd have to disconnect the crank from the ready gurdy without alerting the woman's attention, but it turns out you needn't have bothered. She continues to turn the crank. Blank eyed, even with nothing attached. Well, that is certainly a weird thing. Did not expect that. You grab the end of the crank and pull her very slowly to the gift shop where you find a vincholo to plug her into. Problem solved. Well, you weird one. Hi there, got any tokens that need smashing? You need to find a token first. Okay. Ah, yeah, they cost a lot. I don't need them now, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, old photograph. Nothing here yet that helps me. Okay, back. Back where I need to be. Maybe the... Wait, that guy... Oh, that one did not help us, right? Play. The piece. How do I find somebody that actually can do that? Now I have a problem. Was there more on this floor that I did not see yet? I think there was. It was the music room only. Okay, kids' rooms. Cussy yourself up a little. Oh. Boo boo. Someone has been slacking on their geometry homework. Okay, I need my uh, typical mystic self for that. That I can do quickly. Ooh, transform into mysticality set. Go. Where's my ring? Perfect. We got geometry textbook. Box of science stuff. A plain skirt? Yeah, that's what I need for the pants guy. And rules of parlor games. Fun law. Turn it back on, cause that is nice. A blank chalkboard. It booed me again. Toys. Stuffed gun. Okay, fine with me. Okay, the boo's getting old. It really is. This little girl goes to serving imaginary tea to her guests. The doll, but terrifyingly, is hardly indifferent. The missing employee, on the other hand, is playing along with the rectus grin on his face. The little girl wears an annoyed and disappointed frown. Hello there, my name is Sidra. Can I join your tea party? If you want, I guess, but it's a terrible tea party. What's wrong? You aren't having any fun? All I have is dumb made-up tea and one proper tea party like Mama took me to. Tell me more about that party. Went to a real tea room and it was so pretty. There were vases with flowers in them and everyone was all dressed up in suits and pretty dresses. And there were white china teacups for the tea. Real tea, not imaginary. Well, that sounds very nice. It was. It was so nice. And everyone was so polite and charming and elegant. Well, until the fight started anyway. There was a fight. Well, two of the gentlemen there got into an argument. I don't know what it was about, but I guess one said something the other one didn't like. And it was so insulted that he threw his tea right in the first man's face. And then they took out guns and started shooting at each other right there in the tea room. Whoa. They were still really energetic though. They had a little silver and ivory pistols. And they kept their pinkies out the whole time. Anyway, I don't remember the rest very well. Except one of them missed the other and shoot me by mistake. I'm so sorry. Thanks, but that's alright. Heaven's supposed to be even nice, so I guess I don't mind so much. 
But I didn't get to finish my tea party, so I want to have another one before I go. Except I don't have any tea, and make-believe tea isn't any fun anymore. Hmm, okay, I'll see if I can find some actual tea, or... I've got a goblet full of blood. How about that? No? Don't give her that. Bad idea. I'll see if I find real tea. Maybe the kitchen might have some. This guy has a smile frozen on his face, and his eyes dart around with panic as he pretends to sip tea. One eye twitches as he tries to whisper to you out of the corner of his mouth. What's that? A sweat, a drop of sweat rolls down his brow, and he stares a little at the ghost, and he doesn't seem to have noticed. So I'm not getting it. Can you speak up? His hands are shaking. If he were holding an actual teacup, it probably would have shaken by now. He hisses at you. Help me, okay? I don't understand. I'm sorry. Wait, was it in the room? Ah, oh, that's better. Creepy music. Well, isn't that the best one? Sheet music. Transcribe it. Teddy bear has been completely and enthusiastically disemboweled. What a stuffing. Ah, oh, poor Teddy. Composition of this painting is bad in every way. Wait, could I do something with that thing? I didn't trust this horse one bit. Okay, so I don't. Play the lullaby. That I can do. I am good at that, I guess. Maybe that calms you down. Doesn't seem to do anything, though. It's so nice. Come on, relax with me. Yeah, that's better. Let me see that smile. Ah, that was nice. Very soothing. I hope you liked it. Still so many ghosts to go. Mrs. Gunn. This door is locked and no earthly force can open it. Well, maybe a whole team of horses, but good luck getting them up the elevator. Knock, knock. Yes, who is it? Mrs. Gunn? I'm Sidra. Are you with the ghost extermination people? Yes, ma'am. Florence Cunningham. Cunningham Ghost Annihilation Services. Sidra is my assistant. I'm your what? Who is the country licensed ghost hunter here? Me or you? Okay, fine, but I'm doing all the work. Just saying, Florence. I guess. Have you been able to exterminate all of the ghosts? I still feel haunted. Eleven of them left, according to the scanner. We're still working on it, ma'am. Don't worry, you can count on us. Alright, please let me know if you're finished. Okay. Missed again. Wow, that's a lot of... The guy didn't notice you approaching until the right next to him. He yelps in surprise and drops his glass on the floor, then squints unsteadily at you. Then he takes a maraschino cherry from a bowl in the... Bar card and throws it at your head. Hey, stop that. Uh, sorry, just making sure you're not one of them ghosts. He drops another cherry into a fresh glass and pours a lot of whiskey on top of it. Are you one of the museum employees? Yep, that's me. What are you doing in here? Hiding. Lady, I don't know if maybe you didn't notice, but this house... This house has ghosts in it. You don't say. Whole bunch of them, all over. So I don't know about you, but I'm safe right here where I, it's nice and drunk. I mean, safe. Wouldn't you rather get out of here? Nah, all the booze. Uh, that is booze. I'm really scared of them. Ghosts go boo, you know? They'll get me if I leave this room. There aren't any ghosts between this room and the next. So you say, said, that's what you said. They are ghosts. They could be anywhere. Except in here. Exactly. I'm leaving without a guarantee that those ghosts won't grab me on the way out. I will disguise you with the shower curtain. 
Here, look, we'll use this white shower curtain to disguise you as a ghost. Then they won't bother you on your way out. That's a mighty fine idea, but... He tosses back his drink and pours another. Um, eye holes. This curtain got no holes for my eyes. I won't be able to see. I'm starting to think you don't actually want to leave. What gives you that idea? It's terrible in here. Shoot some holes in the curtain. You narrow your eyes at him and blast some holes in the curtain with your pistol. Okay, okay, jeez, I got the picture. He grabs an armload of bottles from the cart, pulls the shower curtain over his head, and staggers out the door. Good. And we wrap the schnapps. There we go. Possessed bowling. Reset. Nothing happens. They are possessed. We fix it by fighting it. Can I not do anything else? Because I'm probably gonna die. I'm gonna have a look at the other rooms first. Not safe power. Because I'm sure I'm gonna... Oh, a cigar. Plenty to try and... See stuff... Happen. Wow, I hope you never see a life duck this big. And this angry. One of the moose's eyes is loose. Okay, I know who I need this for. How you doing? There's a golem hat mounted like a trophy on the wall. This would be positively barbaric if not for the fact that the golem seems pretty okay with it. Boo, haha. Pretty good I am to getting you, huh, human? Yeah, wow, yes. Very much to getting me. Nice. What is it happening to you? Did Mr. Gun hunting you into cutting head off? No, no, Mr. Gun is human man is being very friends. Inside one of his bowling ball bags, my sport to growing only had room. Mr. Gun to finding me and hanging me up here for to chatting with. Great guy. Wow, weird. This ghost is dressed up as a traditional safari hunter with the pith helmet and big white mustache and those weird cocky drills that then make it look like your butt has wings. He's inspecting Mrs. Mr. Gun's trophy collection, but it doesn't seem particularly impressed. Hi, I'm Sidrian. Oh, charmed, I'm sure. Lord Usen Kandanton at your service. What happened to you, if you don't mind asking? Not at all, not at all. But it's a, a very exciting story. Uh, what? I was hunting lions on the plains of the Sparangetti, and one of the blighters got the better of me. Wow, you were eaten by a lion? That sounds pretty exciting to me. Well, not eaten as such. Sneaky bugger kept, crept into camp and pushed a stack of ammunition crates over on me. Oh, maybe I can help you. Hmm, help me do what? Well, help you with everything keeping you as a ghost. Though, now that you say it, I guess there isn't much I can do to help you get revenge on that lion. No, 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 it isn't revenge that's keeping me here. Good for that lion, I say. Turns about is a fair play and all. Though, I do wish he'd done it in a manner that made for a better story. So why are a ghost then? It's because of my one true regret. I never faced the most dangerous game. I'm definitely not going to help you hunt people. Wait, no, the most dangerous board game. Nobody was ever willing to play against me. A ball is shame, eh? Um, what's the game? The leads you over to a small table on which is laid out a board of alternating red and black squares with little wooden discs painted red and black as well. Checkers? The checkers jump and scatter as the ghost stab ghost stabs two large hunting knives in the center of the board. Knife checkers. Um, what are the rules? Do you know how to play checkers? Yes. Do you know how to stab someone in the hand with a knife? Yes. That's all you need to know, really. Then let's try and play and hope I don't regret it. You yank one of the knives out of the board and let Houston instruct you to hold it left-handed. The rules are... You may only attack your opponent's hands and only when they are over the board. This plays checkers... I'll play it from where they land, but attacking the board directly is a foul, which, at, 
once the opponent has stopped return, feints the pre primarily a game of concentration, crit movement, and feint. Play carefully because I don't have the muzzle. Okay, I need 40 muzzle. Let me deal with that real quick. Uh, muzzle. Muzzle was. Did I have a gun that gave me muzzle? I don't think there was, right? Okay, I know that this thing... Where is it? Sledgehammer gave muzzle? Oh, this is so horrible. The last ring gives one. Muzzle is kind of my worst stat to get, so I'm kind of... Out of ideas on how to improve that further if I cannot reach the... Stat total of 40. I'm missing one, are you kidding me? I'm missing exactly one. Okay. Maybe I can give myself some food. It's the food that gives me muzzle. Spider omelette. I need muzzle. Ah, this one. Oh, no, tainted by a demon. Should not take this. There must be something simple. I'm on fire. This is good. Some sausages. Wonderful. Okay, do I now have enough? Play aggressively. You start out the game by attacking quickly and fiercely. To establish dominance, keep your opponent from developing his pieces. This strategy is somewhat efficient, but Lord Usen doesn't care, scare easily and he manages to feint a few pieces past your guard. You enter a mid game more than less evenly matched. I need all stats to 40. Are you kidding me? Okay. Let me see. What do I have already? Those two are nice, but Moxie is low. This doesn't help me in any way. I. Could drop a few more muzzles again for a moxie ring, maybe? Then my mysticality is too low. Can drop this for a moxie head, maybe? This must help me somehow. Okay, do I have one with five? I think I had one that gave me five, but not reduce the mysticality by that much. Sadly, no. Okay, this is giving all pluses. Another gun would be good. Still not enough moxie, even with that. Maybe I have more food. I'll see if food can help us. Can we sort? Beans. Mongol and Moxie by three. There must be good food here that can help me, right? Muscle by six. Muscle is okay. I need mysticality and moxie. Lots of moxie, to be exact. Mysticality only two. Hmm, not good. 
This is only three, Moxie. Increase everything by five. Come on, there must be something. Maybe this? Armor. There must be something that helps me. I see if I can get my uh, stats to 40 44, then you see you in just a sec. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
<clears throat> okay, finally managed to get 40, 40, 40 with um, stuff in my stomach. Putting a random amount of stuff in, and also putting in all my points. So I'm out of points now, too. <sighs> Bring it on, man. Bring it on. In the mid game, you focus more on the checkers that are on your knife work, maneuvering into position for some big gains in the long term. You suffer a minor nicks and cuts, but a well positioned for the end game. Prail craftingly. Well, Houston spots a hole in your defenses. He feigns left and quickly slides on one of the pieces into the gap and into your trap. This moves his hand into the position you need to attack it with a hard downward stab. Easily yanks his hand out of the way and your knife hits one of your pieces on its edge, flipping it across the board to land neatly on his back rank. Ping me. I say it's a foul to attack the board. Sure, but it wasn't was I attacked your hand and you dodged us all you sneaky blighter Play continues, but with the n king behind the Houston lines you clean up fairly quickly All right lass, I concede marvelous play a eh, what well done It gives you a smart salute and fades away into nothingness That took forever. Yeah, I wish I was as go lucky happy as you Okay. And what's in here? Way too many ghosts. One of the boy cues. Oh, spittoon time. I'm not looking. Give me. Oh boy, oh yeah, count to mama. What are you doing? Uh, nothing? What are you doing? Looking at someone who's kneeling next to the spittoon with the apparent intention of sticking her whole entire face inside it. Dive in. You jam your hand in the spittoon up to the shoulder and find nothing. Your brass bucket is shiny and clean, outside and in, clean as the day it was born. The museum staff must have washed it. It looks brand new. Are you crying? No, I'm fine. You're crying. Okay, well. I'll just be over here whenever you're done lying on the ground in a fetal position and hugging a spittoon. Nothing for me. I thought it was some super item that helped us out and I did all for nothing. Hey there, how's it going? I ain't interested in chit chat, girl. Just billiards. Step up or shut up. Challenge him to the game. You pull out your cue and the ghost nods and racks the balls. He's only chances you. You just can't seem to make the ball go where you intended. That was as sad as showing as I've ever seen. Let me see that cue. Yeah, that's your problem. This thing's about as straight as a banker's handshake. What? You're gonna need to lathe this back to true if you want a chance against me. Lathe, hmm? Where will I do that? Hmm. Didn't see anything on the way there. Okay, so we looked into all of these rooms. Now it's time to fix it. And I am completely wrongly good for that, but let's see how that now works out for me. What can you do? Shoot science pistol. You said we're back by to increase the party's mystically by eleven. Let's try that. Then I'm gonna attack. With lots of spooky damage. And then... Um... That's not gonna do much. Deal one damage with each blow. That's only six. How about you summon somebody to assist? Maybe I can at least block it. Tech. Or not. Okay, then you shoot. That didn't do much. I shoot. And down it goes. You gain bowling shirt name tag. Hooray, I guess. I don't know what that achieved. I 
And I don't want to know. I'm leaving. I think I just needed to attack for something later. Okay, still a lot to go. The music room is clean. The kids' room. What's there that goes there? Ah, uh, yeah. We need tea for that one. We have the eye now, so let's go to the... First or second floor? Second, I think? Where do we need to go? Guest room, yeah. Okay, kind of. I have a glass eye. How kind. Thank you very much. She shakes the glass eye from you and puts it in. Whereupon it falls through her and onto the floor. She starts it, she picks it up. Oh dear, it's a little too physical. Yeah, uh, I wasn't certain this would work. Don't worry, this is an easy fix. Do you have a hammer I can borrow? Yes. That will do nicely, thank you. She takes the hammer, places the glass eye on the desk and smashes it with a precise crack. Ah, perfect. She gives it back the hammer and plucks the ghost of the glass eye from the shattered fragment. After blowing the dust off of it, she tucks it into her eye socket. It fits much better. Does it work? Well, not a dimension. No, I can actually see with it. It is a ghost of a glass eye, after all. Oh dear, this won't do it all. What a shame. You know, I don't really understand why your eye is still missing. What do you mean? Well, I always assumed when someone t loses an arm or something, it just sticks around as a ghost arm. That's why people say that they can feel it itching sometimes, because you've still got an arm there, but it's a ghost. It's even called phantom limb syndrome. So logically, if the rest of you becomes a ghost after that, it would hook right back up. But then where did my eye go? Maybe it got pushed back inside your head? The ghost thinks about this for a second, then shakes her head. No, that's it. Wait, what? I do think I felt something just then. She shakes her head again. My goodness gracious. Keep going. It's like one of those puzzles where you try to get the marble in the hole. She bends her head forward and continues shaking it. You can almost hear a faint rattling sound and then the blop. She straightens back up, blinking with two eyes. You did it. Well, I'll be. Thank you so much, dear. I'll never thought... I uh, would have thought of that. No problem. Have a nice time in heaven or whatever. Ghost gives a friendly wave and fights out of sight. Well, let's start then. Can I now go in room number one? <sighs> Perfect. We grabbed the meat. Good thing we didn't actually pay that much to get in here. Uh, oh, I did get some... Always, when I think it's just for funsies, I get something. What did I get? Ah, advanced bean sling. I already learned all of the techniques, so I just gain XP. Well, it's also good. One of the missing employees is sitting here reading a magazine, as you can see. Congratulate him on his newfound freedom. Congratulations, I freed you. You're free. Huh? Free from what? Well, from being locked in this room with nothing to do except read that magazine. Ah, so you freed me from having an excellent excuse not to do my crappy job. Well... You freed me from the burden of relaxing in here instead of emptying trash cans and cleaning toilets. Great. Look, you're a real hero. I could just lock the door again. No, it's too late now. I'm free. Free as the wind blows. Free as my job blows. Thank you. You're welcome. At least taking a chair with him. Why do I make all the museum employees miserable? It's not my intention, but it just happens. Okay, was there something in here that I could still do? Uh, you wanted help? With the cigar? I have some, but I don't have the explosive powder yet. To do something with it. Okay, what else do I have? I have the skirt, so I need to go to the pantry. Get the skirt to the guy. Um, was it on the first floor? I think it might have been. No, that's cellar power. Then it is on second or third. I don't remember. 
help. Gallery. Library. Is this on the third one then? Maybe. Ah, this layout. No, also no. Maybe it's if I go through the kitchen entrance. Yeah, that is it. There we go. How about this skirt? Look, I understand that genderization of clothing maybe shouldn't be a thing, but I'm kind of old-fashioned. Did I say skirt? I mean kilt. What's a kilt? It's a special kind of foreign necklace pants for men. Yeah, try it. Hey, that's really nice. Thanks a lot. With his pant problem solved, she dissipates into the ether. Okay, you want personnel? How many do I need to go to? More precisely, there's two left on the first floor, three left on the second, and three on the third. Oh, also the science junk's for her. Her damage is increased. Okay. Uh, for you, we need a camera. I I think I saw a camera somewhere. I think in these souvenir shops. Get that one already. Okay, on the first floor here. There's two left. We have that guy. And who else is left here? Oh yeah, dining room. We need a chili for that. We need beans. We still haven't had a look at the maze outside. Maybe there's a garden there too. Because I don't think they have anything in here. Maybe we can have a look around. First, I'm gonna go to the right. If I find a camera. Mm, that's the wrong one. There we go. Photos. Unattended. Well, great. But I can buy souvenirs. Shot glass. Doesn't help me much. I really need the photos, though. Okay. How about I take a closer look at the garden? Maybe we can find some spices, beans, and everything in there. Look, <sighs> it does look like just hatch for me here, though. We are just bushes seem to be full of pinto and kidney beans. I didn't think those grew on bushes. And you especially didn't think they both grew at the same bush. Now I only need spices. Not quite how I was expecting that. Was there somebody I can fight? This must be the hatch wizard. Do I need to fight him? I'm gonna leave him be for now. Because I'm not sure I'm ready for this fight. Oh no. I'm out here again, I guess. Okay, um... For this, we may need a map. I think we can't just go through here. Okay, is there spice? Oh, tea! With a tea set. Well, that is just weird. But nothing here gives us spices. Overgrown to the point of impossibility. Step through. With tokens, I can make a wish here. But I need more meat for the token, I think. Um... Fight? A bush ball. Not gonna do that now. But it's interesting to know that it's there and I'm gonna take more tea leaves. 
Hmm. Should I fight the wizard then? Um. That didn't help me much. And this I'm gonna have to visit later. This doesn't really help me. Okay, let's try to fight that wizard and see if it helps us. Hatches, heat my call. Oh no, I thought he was just alone. That would have helped. Oh god. Alright, what can you do now? Shoot all enemies for 8. Heal entire party for 12. You do that. I'm gonna deal the damage. Okay, and you... are kicking him. Where it hurts. Now we only have to deal with his bush. Okay, um... Shoot target for six, or shoot all enemies for eight. Why wouldn't I do that, then? I'm gonna increase their mystically, because then I need like, more damage, and I can attack before, um... Hatch that even attacks. You got magic infused leave. Oh no, I have to I have to fight him multiple times. <sighs> Big Topiary W. Okay, he didn't run very far. That's not what I expected. There was way too much damage. Ah. Ouch, this hurts. Okay, you're now the designated healer. Heal us. Well, I kill the mage first. Then everybody else. That will not do. Can I do 45 damage at once to one shot this? Because this is doing the most damage. First, you heal all of us. I don't do enough. Maybe the golem will help? Why are you new not... It is fire damage. It should just kill them away. I can heal myself for five. That will not do much though. Okay, I'm gonna try to kill the mage if it helps, but I think I'm dead. That is a door nail. Will this protect me? Increase armor. Disabled for two rounds. Can I put that on this thing? Okay, I roped the bush. I don't know how, but I roped the bush. Then, I am going to... wizard first, because I'm not sure if he can just summon new ones. Okay, you're attacking her, which is good in my book. 
Okay, now you shoot all for eight. And then I'm killing that thing off. And hopefully this thing doesn't kill us. Or at least not me. Ouch. Okay, you heal us. That helps a bit. Now I'm out of AP to use. Great. Do I have something where I can gain AP? No, I used all my smelling salts last time, didn't I? No smelling salts left. Twenty damage to the target. It's better than nothing. Dynamite it. Is it target on fire? I cannot use all my stuff, or I should not. Let's shoot. Hope we don't die. Okay, you shoot... This one. And I, Regan. We should be able to kill him. I think I regenerate more than it hurts me, so I should be good. Not doing much, but I'm tanking this. I'm still having my weird gear on, that is. Maybe I should not have done that with my weird gear. But I'm afraid to take it off, and then I need to assemble it again and don't know what it is anymore. There goes our major damage. I can still take you on, even without my friends. Ouch. Oh, close call. More magic infused leaves. And H. Okay, this one is probably going to be harder. Oh my. Ouch. Ow, did that hurt a lot. Okay, you heal our party. I'm gonna deal with the wizard as fast as possible. <laughs> Gary will help. And then we're gonna just have to deal with the minion somehow. That thing doesn't do that much, so one of those two has to die. That thing next. Because that hurts a lot. Go, Florence. That hurt a lot. Okay, Gary dealing on six damage here, so I think it's better if we um, reproduce. There we go, pop it. Ow, why did that hurt so much? Poor little Florence. Why can't you not just attack the puppy? Doing so little. Please don't. There she goes. She dead. 
Oh, at least the copy protected me here. Yeah, I'm gonna cast my spell up here. See if uh, Gary can do this. And down you go. You got Hatch Wizard's Journal, Hatch Wizard's Orb, and more leaves. Some kind of portal made of filled with enchanted shrubbery. And his secret stash. Meat and hatching your uh, bats. Well, what did that help me then? Read it. You got perk hatching your bats. 20% to meat gains. Okay. And journal. Hey. More advanced beancraft. I know it's just giving XP for now, but I need that anyway. It's full of terrible poetry. Here's an example. Everlasting shrubbery. Noble leaf cloudy. Whence comes all joy. Sweet fragrance. Wondrous thy strength. Namaste, my lord. Do not read. Hatch wizard. What is this for? Why did I do that? That must have helped me with something. Or did he not? The orb. Gives me seven mysticality. What slot is that for? Oh, for the can. Would be nice, but so far I'm staying in my everything goes outfit. Well, at least we got the beans. But we still have no solution for this. Hmm. No, that doesn't help me. Let's try again. No. That was not it. There must be a solution for this. Even if it's not an easy one. We're gonna have a look at the later date. Okay. But that was all for this episode. So, thank you very much for watching today, everybody. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.